This is another episode of R Block TV. I'm your host, Blue Out. It's R Block Incorporated. Shout out to PDB Mob, Boy Dave, Young LRV, Dre Money, General SS. What type of shit is that? <laughs> No doubt, it's another episode of Our Block TV. Yeah, sitting here with Rock. my good friend of Detroit oh. streets. Y'all know him as TJ the Trouble Man. What's up, bro? What up, dope blue? How you doing, man? Glad to be on Our Block. You know what I'm saying? It's Our Block, so we, I'm, I'm supposed to be here. Yeah, you should be chilling. We, you know what I'm saying? I'm enjoying the, the atmosphere. Right. You know. You know, it's like one of my days off, so you know I'm chilling. What's, what's the deal though, man? You got what, man? You, you drinking on something, man? Yeah, I'm drinking water, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of hot out here. You can get yeah. parched. Water's good. Especially if you've been drinking, you know what I'm saying? If you be out there drinking liquor in between your drinks, get you some water. You know, you can drink your bottle of water. I like mine with ice, you know what I'm saying? Cool me down, you know, because I got that hot, that hot blood, you know what I'm saying? I, I might sweat from time to time. Serious. But right now, we're about to go to my man Young Product. We got a listening party. It was at Club Envy. You know, shout out to everybody that was there. What up, though? Product, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Who I see at that party? Miss Mar, I got there real late. Cause, uh, but anyway, let's just go to it. I don't want to extend my trouble on y'all. <laughs> it's our block. Our block TV, man. Yeah. Young Product listening party, man. Y'all check it out. We got him in here. And we on our block, my nigga. And it's big, it's big business this year. Y'all gonna see us. We heavy. I want in, hosted by DJ Drama, Prada. It's big business this year, nigga. And it's our block. Hey, this is my man, Prada. He didn't got signed. He doing his thing. He out here, y'all. Make sure y'all support him, man. Doing his thing. Tell him, how, hey man. Tell him how long. I ain't how long you been grinding. How hard you been grinding, my nigga. I've been putting in work for years, my nigga. I've been going at least eight years strong, my nigga. Just, just working since a young nigga. Fresh out the P now, nigga. I went in. I said I got to do something better, my nigga. I had to move. I had to get to it, and I had to focus, my nigga. And I'm, I'm ten toes down right now, and we on our block. Our Block TV, you know how we do it, we live. My man Marv One, Marv, what's cracking? Same old, same old, man. I'm trying to be like you, man. Oh, man, I'm trying to be like you, man. What's up, though, man? What, tell, tell us what you've been having going on, man. Same old, same old, man. Working on this project with my man Chains, it's called The Last Hope. Working on this new Fat Killer record. Man, you know, just, just trying to stay, trying to stay as active as possible, man. Let the people see my pretty face, that's all. I'm here with Miss Murder. And my man DJ Highlight. What's Papa Highlight? What up, though? Just up here chilling, man, doing thing. DJ Highlight in the building, conglomerate DJs, representing for my man Product, dog. Yeah, we chilling with R Block TV Product. I want in, Fly High Mixtape. It's going down crazy. We got all the DJs in the building. Shout out to Blue. My homie, we got Highlight. We putting it down in the city, so make sure you watch out. Fly High Entertainment, let's get it. Hey, man. Conglomerate DJs in the building. We here for Young Product doing his thing, man. What up, though? Nice what up with you, man? Conglomerate DJs, man. Get at us, man. Half man, half machine. We out here, man. DZ. Yo, what up, though? Shaman, DJ Bay, Road Shoulders DJ, a.k.a. Detroit's number one mixtape DJ, a.k.a. your mama's favorite DJ. <laughs> what up, though? You already know what the time it is. Your boy DJ Steady Rock, a.k.a. Mr. Shane Park, a.k.a. Mr. Conglomerate. You know what I'm saying? What up, though? It's R Block TV. I'm here with my man, 
DJ Big Dog Blast, man. Y'all check him out, man. That's what's happening, what's happening, what's happening, man. Big Dog Blast, conglomerate DJs. Shouts out to Young Product, nigga. We in. Can we cuss on this TV show right here, man? Y'all know I can't cuss on the radio, but when I get on something, I, I can do it. I'm damn sure gonna do it. You feel me, man? Our block, and that's what it is, homie. She! This is my man, Mo Dirty. Tell him what you got popping. First of all, got the Mo Show. You know what I'm saying? I got a monthly event that I do. I got a uh, Dirty Motown 2 coming out. It's a CD I got. Freeway on there. It's a lot of niggas on there, but uh, it's a lot of rapping. Got a lot. I got a battle coming out on Grind Time. It's a Grind Time battle that's coming out, so you know I do that battle shit. That battle will be uh, that battle will be out probably like a week or two, so check for that. All right, this is our Black TV man. We back. You know what I'm saying? Right now we about to go into some more good music. These is two artists off of our label, Our Block Incorporated. This is Young Lrv. Featuring Boy Dave. Oh yeah. With Bust It Wide Open Bust performing wide live wide. at Blondie's. Bust It Wide Open. Yo, you gonna love that, man. Yeah. Check that out. Bust It Wide Open. Lay there and let me bust it wide open. <laughs> <laughs>
to the hottest indie artists on the planet, Detroit Riot Radio is licensed by ASCAP and BMI with a strong base in Atlanta as well as Detroit. Join the Riot Radio movement as we take independent music to an all-new high. The late, great, world-renowned producer, known as your favorite producer's favorite producer, left behind a legacy that still lives on, the rebirth of Detroit. R.I.P. J. Dilla. Production. Production. Recording. Recording. Mixing. Mixing. Mastering. Mastering. Nation Studio. Get into the zone. Get into the zone. Oh, hey, that's a hit record right there, man. That's a hit record. Get uh, a video for that and um, really push it. Yeah, we push it. Gotta push it. Yeah, we working on that right now. That's that's it. That's it. Gotta have nothing but the finest of women in the video. In the biggest (laughs) booties. You know, so if you got some pictures of yourself and you want to be in the Bussy Wide Open video, contact us, you know, send me. An uh, email to rblockinc at gmail. That's rblockinc, the letter rblockinc. You'll see it, you know, right scrolling there. down at the bottom. But what about little Bus? Little Bus, I like a little butt, though. But you, you can't know. bust a little butt wide open. Ain't no wide to a little butt. No, but you can kind of, you know, just kind of grab it at the top. Like pride open. Try to try to try to pry it open. <laughs> hey, that's the next single, y'all. Come and pry it, pry it, pry it open. <laughs> <laughs> I like it, man. I like hey. that. <laughs> hey, right now, man. Hey, we got. We got my CN City. Girl, CN City. Yeah. And Shane Park to return to the OG's concert. Was she performing? Who all was there? She was on stage. I know Too Short was there. Uh, Bun B. Bun B. Eight Ball and MJG. E40, my man. E40. 40 Water. Yes. He, he, was, he was kicking some game. He got something to tell y'all, you know what I mean? Oh, uh, yeah. Y'all check Sin City out. Eight Ball probably was looking at seeing it like she was a piece of chicken or something. Nah. I know really, it was MJG. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big time. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I want to see that. Wait, let me put it on right uh, now. What up, though? This your girl, Sin City, here on R Block TV. Shout out to Detroit Riot Radio. I'm here at the return of the OG concert part two. West Coast meets Dirty South here. E40, what's good? What's going on? How y'all, how y'all doing out there, Yan Stanley? How you doing? I'm good. How does it feel to be back in Detroit? I feel good every time, Yan Stanley. Uh, second home, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I love it out here. That's what's up. All right, and I know you, you know, of course, one of the OGs of the music game. You've been in here a long time. I want to know, in your perspective, how the game changed. Oh, was, the creativity has been t- uh, stripped. Uh, it's been taken out of hip hop. Took the storytelling out of music. Everything is. Hip hop always had had punchlines and metaphors, but it was the metaphors and the punchlines was t- game game related to like, you know, soil life, hood life. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't just. There's a lot of bubblegum rap out there. I feel I'm gonna keep it one thousand. Wow. What would you me? change from the game if you could? I get the word swag out of there. I hate that word. I'm just gonna keep it real. No matter who who said whatever, I'm just keeping it real. I ain't coming on no per- personal per- no one person, but I hate the word swag. You understand me? Um, and so the way that uh, cats is being raised, it ain't no game involved. It's like like a lot of game goofy shit going on. You smell me? It's like they ain't, it ain't they ain't laced right. They don't have no morals. You know, then we don't talk. They, they talk crazy to their parents, the people who create them. They don't know when they get their kids, they gon' they gonna get it three or four times worse. You understand me? So it's like it's just a crazy world right now, man. I'm just keeping it one thousand. Wow. I can respect that. Is there any advice you would give to upcoming artists? 
Yeah, man, stay prayed up. Believe in God. Be you. Put 100% in you and stay prayed up, man, because game recognizes game at the end of the day. Well, I want to thank you for your time, you know. Thank you for coming out to Detroit again, you know, shutting it down like you always do. Right this show, Girl Sin City with E-40 here on R Block TV. Shout out to Detroit Riot Radio. What up, though? This show, Girl Sin City here with a ball MJG, Return of the OGs Part 2, West Coast meets Dirty South. How does it feel to be back in Detroit? You know, it feels better every time, you know, because we get a chance to do it again. Yeah. That's what's up. We love to have you around, you know, and coming through. I want to know you, your personal opinions on how the game changed from when you started and from now, you know. Uh, really, you know, it's more, um, I think it's probably went full circle. You know what I'm saying? When we got started, it was a heavily independent ran game and I think it's back to that, you know what I'm saying? Like it's back to the to the artists that are taking over their regions and um, you know, selling like stupid numbers on mixtape dot com and all that type of stuff, you know what I'm saying? Just it's back to the back to the independency, you know. I want your opinion too, I ain't forget about you over here. Uh same thing really, you know, just to add on, uh Right now, you know, you really got to be saying something now, you know, because uh, because boys listening, they checking, cause the game open, and a lot of cats coming in now, you know. So you really got to be saying something now. That's what's up. I know you guys been in the game for a long time. Y'all did your own thing solo, you know, and came back together, you know. I want to know what would what advice would you give upcoming artists? Uh, man, just uh, be be about your creativity, you know what I'm saying? Uh, keep it unique and keep it creative, man, you know, and don't don't follow, you know, blaze your own trail, you know what I mean? Basically just stick to you, stick to your format. If you figure out what your format is, ride it out, love what you do. This is a job that you do forever. You know, and any type of art, you know, even the artist going to paint till he can't paint no more. A dancer going to dance till he can't dance no more. You know, a scientist is going to always want to think of something new and, 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 and do something else, you know. So why shouldn't I want to keep going on, you know, and making a song or the next song? You know, this is art. You got a favorite artist from Detroit? The MC Breed. Rest in peace, buddy. Hey, yo, just to show y'all how real it is, how we got to take five seconds for this right here. It ain't no picture or none of that. What he just said, close up of that. Yeah. Deeper than rap, man. Huh. Deeper than rap. The late, great, world-renowned producer, known as your favorite producer's favorite producer, left behind a legacy that still lives on. The Rebirth of Detroit. R.I.P. J. Dilla. Production. 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 Recording. 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 Mixing. 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 Mastering. 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 Nation Studios. Nation Studios. Get into the zone. Get into the zone. Home to the hottest indie artists on the planet, Detroit Riot Radio is licensed by ASCAP and BMI with a strong base in Atlanta as well as Detroit. Join the Riot Radio movement as we take independent music to an all-new high. What up, though? This show, Girl Sin City. I'm over here at the Return of the OGs, Part Two. West Coast meets Dirty South. I got Royce Fire now right here. What up, though? What's up? How you doing? Good. How are you? I'm all right. How you enjoying yourself at this concert? Right I'm, in, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. We looking at all OGs perform. 
You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. That's what's up. So I know you've been in the game for a long time, and I want your perspective on how the game changed from when you first started to now. I mean, it's changed a lot. You know, um, it was obviously more money when I first came around. You know, um, once the recession and everything like that hit, and, and the record labels start seeing that they can't make as much money off of record sales, you know, they start trying to take some of your show money and stuff like that. So it's it's more so of, of a financial thing with me. All right. Do you got a Detroit input on it? Because, you know, it's a little different. Well, at least that's my opinion on the music game. Yeah, I mean, Detroit, we went unnoticed, like starting off. And then, you know, like when M, when M first jumped on the scene, he put like a little bit of light on the city and people started getting deals and stuff like that. Then artists start conflicting with each other, just trying to compete. And, you know, the light was off the city because the light went on other cities that were unified artist-wise. So now we're getting back to that, and it's looking great. That's what's up. Do you have any advice for the upcoming artists? You have to be consistent. Preparation has to meet opportunity. I believe every every person gets an opportunity at, at least once in their life. And if you, if you prepare when that opportunity presents itself, I think you you win. All right, that's what's up. Thank you for your time. Right. It's your girl, Sin City, Royce to 5 9 I'm here on R Black TV with Too Short himself. What's mm -hmm. good? Oh, yeah, I, like, I always like coming out here, especially, I love coming to Detroit, but I really like coming to the park out here, Shane Park. It's like, it's the ish. <laughs> All right, I know you've been in the game for a long time. Can I get your opinion on how the game changed since you've been in it? Well, it's a, it's a business. It's a, it's a certified business. It was the whole aspect of, um, you know, everybody just doing it for the fun of it and, you know, wishing and hoping you could see yourself on TV or, or do a show in front of somebody or, you know, just get one record in a record store. That's like the old dream. The new dream is I want money. I want to be paid. I want to be Lil Wayne. I want to be – I want everything, you know. So, you know, I, I admire the new hustle because it's – you know, if I came up right now, and was as popular as I was back then. I mean, it'd be like, you know, so much bigger. Because, you know, it was it was young days in hip hop. I sold a lot of millions of albums. And it's really, really hard to sell a lot of millions of albums now. Mm -hmm. But it's almost, this, to me, it's almost the same thing. Because if you get popular enough and your record moves around enough, you don't have to necessarily sell millions of records to make a lot of money. You know what I mean? You can go out, there's so many hustles you can do now. So, you know, I'm loving, I'm loving anybody that's in hip hop right now that's making money. Anybody that got a, that got a hip hop job that supports them, and you ain't got to get a day job too, uh, I'm with you. That's what's up. I have a question. I heard a rumor. I heard you and E40 got a collab album coming out soon. Oh yeah, it's uh, we've been working on it so long. We're thinking about making it a double album. So <laughs> it's coming though. It's like it's the next thing that we're dropping, and it's it's hot. Like you're gonna love it. That's what's up. What's the name of it? It's called the History Channel. Ooh, the History Channel. Check that out. You know <laughs> they gonna spit some game just by the title of that. For you can real. tell. That's what it's all about. Spitting game. We gonna we gonna tell you this, this the history of it. That's what's up. Speaking about spitting game, you know you know the game so well. If you could change anything from the game, what would it be? I just feel like um, in hip hop in particular, you, know, you can see it in R and B too. You know, just the recycled images, meaning like it's okay to to do exactly what he did, you know? To look like him, dress like him, songs, rap flow, everything, the same vibe, excuse me, everything same vibe. And it's just, um, it's just, you know, the, to the older heads, we look back to when, when when they used to use the word biting, that kind of, that word just is extinct now. <laughs> and you couldn't use any phrase or any signature, you know, words or things that another rapper did, you couldn't touch it. You couldn't wear anybody else's hairstyle. You couldn't, you couldn't mimic their stage show. And it was just, you know, I, I guess it had to be that way to make it into what it is now. But now it's like you got to, you know, like you go to a, a grocery store and you can just pick a style off the shelf. Like, I, I like that. I like his style. Let me borrow that. Borrow a little T.I., get a little Wayne hairdo. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. A little Soldier Boy dress code and, and, and you a new rapper. Yeah, I can understand that respect that I feel that. But it's all in the name of money. And it's a lot of cats now saying, I oh, mean, the game is all shitty because, uh, because cats can't rap or something. But, you know, there's a lot of folks out there that can rap really good that don't get no money. There's a lot of folks out there that rap really terrible that get a lot of money. That's the game. You know what I'm saying? It's, it, it is what it is. That's real right there. you have any advice for upcoming new artists? 
you just got to work all the time. Like you, the, the best thing you could do in life is be an overachiever at whatever you do. Just do it more than everybody else and do it better than everybody else, and you'll get yours. All right, man. Our Block TV is getting dark. It's almost time for me to hit the club because you know that's what we do. You know about that. this time. Oh, wait. Right. I ain't got no watch on. Like we always <laughs> do about this time. It's time to get out of here. But before we get out of here, shout out to Mac Town Entertainment. They doing their thing. They got this video right here. It's uh -huh. called Get It In. It was shot by my brother Cricket, Rebel Star Media out Cricket. there in Atlanta. It's a nice video. Shout out to Mac Town. Rest in peace, Big Geeks, man. You know what I'm saying? We're going to still hold you down. This is Mac Town. We're getting it in. It's the night of a mob star. Competition gets swiped like credit cards. No credit, money longer than Bashan. Move slow when you dance like grandpa. And boo, keep that, keep that to the flow. Money in my pocket, I be ballin' like a pro. I should have a jersey, but instead I got a boat. And after the club, we could float to your home. What's the limit for the night? That's rhetorical, no limit on my life. But for that cheese, I bite like a mice. Now let me beat that, beat that, leave it bloody like, like a fight. fight. Uh, died in his, his head in the clouds, be higher than a witch. Like, like, like stick shifts, all I do is switch. And bottles like promethazine, all I do is sip. Water, wall people, club jumping like a flinch. BR Almighty, deeper than the ditch. And you could bring a friend. Two always better than one, like twins. Money in my pocket, club hopping, bitch, I'm getting it in. Me and you tonight, but it's alright, you can bring a friend. She asked the question, like, how much you think you about to spend? Stacking top of stacks, like a kid, I get it in. 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 Get it in, like the four fifth in the club. We all drunk, passing fifths in the club. I say, little mama, bring it back. Say, drop it low and bring it back. Bend it over, I'm a freak, you know I like it like that. Born ready, born ready. Two stepping with the Mac, got the clowning. Like, I don't know how to act. Hit the stage, then catch me popping bottles in the back. Me and Nate hit the club with four or five racks. We spend it all, then we go and make it all back. Yeah, uh, we go and make it all back. And when I make it rain, you see seven type of steps. Tell your friends, come meet you in the back. When they say Mac Town, I be throwing the Mac. Born ready, baby, ever since first act. And I'm so east side, look, that's that. Money in my pocket, club hopping, bitch, I'm getting it in. Me and you tonight, but it's alright, you can bring a friend. She asked the question, like, how much you think you're about to spend? Stacking top of stacks, like a kid, I get it in. 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 Uh, I got it in, like the nine in the coat. Never chase crumbs, only ride for the loaf. Keep a straight head, stay supplied with the coke. Real east side, who would die for the coast? Bro, toss me the heat. Life of a star, real boss in the streets. Bite in my style, it can cost you your teeth. If I ever take a loss, I'ma fall on my feet. Yeah, Nate in his. What? Blowing them bands, man, he making rich. She wanna see the light, so we headed to the whip. Come on. Stunning amazement, I'm trying to hit the spliff. Oh my hell. Yeah, she got her hands in the pot. Huh? She wanna bring her friend more bread than a lot. Than a lot. Yeah. Now we headed to the yacht. Yeah. Get, get, get excited when, when I, I throw, throw it, it in the knot. Money in my pocket, club hopping, I'm getting it in. Me and you tonight, but it's alright. You can bring a What up, what up? It's your boy Blue Out, man. Our Block TV. We about to roll up out of here, man. I got my guys with me on this one. You know what I'm saying? PDP Mob, yeah, they with me. You better believe it. Y'all holla at PDP Mob, man. We about to get out of here, man. We got things to do. PDP Mob, man. It's your boy, Dave. LRB in this bitch. 
Yes, sir. It's the general. You know what it is, man. Seven mile all day, man. PDB. Money. Right, Lou, Lou. Our block. Our block TV. You ready for that? Streets is talking. Volume one. Yeah. Big tape. Volume one coming soon. Bitch hard as hell, man. We got shit to do though, so we about to roll out this bitch. You did. You know what I'm saying? Pull Our a lot. Two eleven dope PDB. boys, nigga. Word. Yo, what up, man? It's your boy Ace Hood. You watching R Block TV with the big homie Blue. You understand me? Blue, I see you, bro. Ace Hood. That's